a lot of times in word problems, uh, and we'll just use this as an example, we won't solve the problem yet, uh, but they might say like, a ball is thrown at a speed of 10 meters per second at an angle Thirty degrees above the horizontal, and then they can ask how long how long does it take for the ball to hit the ground? So this is a similar problem to what we just looked at, but now instead of your initial velocity only being in the y direction, now you have x and y components of your velocity. So now your initial velocity looks like this. So your speed was 10 meters per second, and it's launched at this angle 30 degrees above the horizontal. And what we're going to need to do to solve this problem is we're going to need the x component of this velocity and then the y component. And then once we get those components, uh, we're gonna need to use two sets of kinematic equations. So that's what we'll talk about next week. Uh, but to make sure we're ready to talk about that, we'll break these vectors into components first. So we've got this vector that has a magnitude of 10 and it makes an angle with the ground that's 30 degrees. The X and the Y components of this vector are the other two sides of this triangle. So this is the X component and this is the Y component. So to get these components, we're going to use trigonometry. And cosine of theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. And so if we look at this triangle, the, and the angle 30 degrees, the side opposite to the 30 degrees is the initial y. The hypotenuse is 10. And the angle was 30. And then the adjacent side was the x component of velocity. The hypotenuse again was 10 and the angle was 30 degrees. So if you wanna solve for the initial X and Y components, you just rearrange this equation and you get 10 sine 30 degrees. And then for the X component, you get 10 cosine 30. So if you plug this into your calculator, and if you're using degrees, make sure your calculator is in degrees mode and not radians mode. So 
this would give you an initial y component of your velocity as five meters per second. And that would all be in the y direction. And then your x component would be 8.66 meters per second. And that's all in the i hat direction. And if you're unsure if you broke your components up, you can always do Pythagorean theorem to check. So check does five squared plus 8.66 squared under a square root equal 10. And then what we're gonna do with uh, these components now, and what we're gonna talk about next week are the, in two dimensions for kinematics. Now, we're not just gonna have to worry about one set of kinematic equations. We're gonna have both a Y and an X component for each equation. And I'll rewrite these next week or next class so you don't have to write all these down. But just to get your mind ready for, for this. Yeah.